Azo. Kwingineko, kutoka juma hili bunge litakaporejelea shughuli zake mawaziri watakuwa wanafika bungeni kujibu maswali kutoka kwa bunge kuhusu wizara zao hii ndio taarifa kutoka kwa speaker wa bunge la taifa Moses Wetangula baada ya kutangaza kutelekezwa kwa mapendekezo hayo yaliyotolewa na rais William Ruto wabunge sasa wanatarajiwa kujadili majina ya wabunge 14 watakaokuwa kwenye kamati ya maridhiano ya mazungumzo kama ana vyo arifu mwana habari wetu Emmanuel To Kenya kwanza pia itakuwa na mkutano wa bunge wake hii leo ambao ni mkutano ambao umefanyika muda mfupi uliofika uliopita katika ikulu ya rais Honorable members I take this opportunity to welcome you back baada ya likizo ya wiki mbili kwa sherehe za pasaka, bunge la kitaifa linatarajiwa Jumanne kurejelea vikao vyake tena na mihemko kikao cha dhuhuri kikitarajiwa kupamba moto. Na kwa mara ya kwanza tangu bunge la kumi, mawaziri sasa watakuwa wanafika bungeni kujibu maswali kuhusu tena kazi wao kwenye wizara zao hikiwa ni baada ya kanuni za bunge kufanyiwa marekebisho. Katika utaratibu uliotangazwa na speaker wa bunge la taifa Moses Wetangula with respect to request to consider amending the standing orders to strengthen parliamentary oversight of the executive. Wabunge watahitajika kuandika maswali yao kutia saini na kala hizo na kumpokeza karani wa bunge. Baada ya maswali hayo atatumwa kwa speaker wa bunge la taifa na kwa mawaziri hao. Baada ya hapo mawaziri watakuwa na nafasi ya kufika bungeni na kujibu maswali wakitakiwa kutuma nakala ya majibu yao siku moja kabla ya kufika bungeni. Embrace science and to know Mr. Speaker that science is moving on. Taratibu hii itakuwa sawa na ilivyokuwa wakati wa serikali ya mseto ambapo mawaziri wakiwemo waziri mkuu wakati huo Raila Odinga alifika bungeni kujibu maswali magumu ya serikali. <coughs> Mabadiliko hayo yalipendekezwa na Rais William Ruto mwaka uliopita baadhi ya wabunge wakiyashabikia kwa yatawafanya mawaziri kuwajibikia majukumu yao zaidi. It gives an opportunity for member of parliament who is a representative of the people to pose a direct question and receive a response directly in clear open uh, environment that uh, uh, members of public are following unlike a scenario where maybe an issue is being followed over time through bureaucracy and at the end of the day the response is made come way after the the, the incident mawaziri hao watakuwa na saa tatu kila jumatano adhuhuri kujibu maswali hayo mwendo wa saa nane unusu speaker wa bunge la kitaifa Moses Wetangula anatarajiwa kwanza kutangazia bunge kikosi cha watu 14 kutoka pande zote mbili za serikali na upinzani kitakachokuwa kinaendesha mazungumzo ya maridhiano Kamati hiyo itakuwa inaanza kazi yake mara moja huku shughuli ya kwanza ikiwa ya kuwateua wenyekiti wawili wa kamati. Baadaye kikosi hicho kitakuwa kinaanza kazi yake haraka iwezekanavyo huku azimio kiwapo wa bunge wake miezi miwili kurejea na ripoti ya mazungumzo. Bunge la Seneti pia linatarajiwa kuwa na kikao sawia licha ya kurejea baada ya likizo ya wiki moja tu. Tayari makabiliano yananukia kwani Kenya Kwanza imeibuka na kanuni mpya ya kumtaka kinara wazimio Raila Odinga kumtambua William Ruto kama rais kwanza kabla ya kamati hiyo kuwa na mazungumzo. If he wants to have any dialogue, first of all he must start by accepting that there is legitimate constitutionally put in place government led by none other but Dr. William Samuel Ruto. That is the minimum that he should start. And again I'm saying the approach that the president suggested of parliamentary and bipartisan uh, dialogue that is the light way that is what we've been doing all the all the time na huku mishahara watumishi wa umma wakiwemo wabunge kichelewa swala hilo pia linatarajiwa kuibua gumzo kali wapo serikali imefilisika ila kabla ya kikao cha mchana cha bunge Kenya kwanza itakuwa na mkutano wa bunge wote saa moja asubuhi kujadili na kupanga kikosi cha watu saba kitakachokuwa na mazungumzo na azimio chama cha ANC tayari kimekuwa na mkutano wa bunge wake katika kaunti ya Vihiga kupanga mikakati ya kupata nafasi katika kamati hiyo ya watu saba kutoka upande wa Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza wakishatoa timu yao azimio walitoa yao Thursday na wanaanza kulialia wakisema watachukua wale watu eh, hard cause wenye hawatasikiza mambo yao na sisi tunasema ya kweli hatutasikiza mambo yao. Hata mimi ataka la nitakuwa hapo na nitapinga kupinga Emmanuel Tow, KT News, Nairobi. Na mtazamaji usikose kwenye mjadala wetu majira ya saa sita adhuhuri kwani tutakuwa tunaangazia swala zima la 